Welcome to the next Outdoor Adventures. In this episode, we will overview facts that you should know if you are planning to ski at the Celeronda Ski Circuit, which is located at the heart of Dolomiti Super Ski Area. If you have not heard about this area before, we would highly recommend to check link to a video that outlines five compelling reasons to visit Dolomiti Super Ski Area. For your convenience, we will post link to that video in the comments section below and at the right top of your screen. Please do not wait till end of this video and hit subscribe and like buttons right away to support this channel and to stay informed about new episodes. Now, back to the main topic of this episode, which is to overview some interesting facts about Celeronda Ski Circuit and also, at the end of the overview, you can watch video fragments that share our skiing experience on the entire loop in March of 2024. The Celeronda is actually a famous ski circuit located in the Dolomites, which represents mountain range in northeastern Italy. The Celeronda circuit loops around the Sella Massif, a mountain group in the Dolomites. It crosses four mountain passes, Passo Gardena, Passo Campolongo, Passo Pordoi, and Passo Sella. The entire Celeronda ski circuit is approximately 40 kilometers or 25 miles long and a total elevation gain of around 2,700 meters or 8,858 feet. The Celeronda offers a variety of terrain, including wide open slopes, steep descents, and scenic valleys, making it suitable for skiers of various skill levels. Although, as you can see in this video, some parts of the circuit represent actually quite challenging terrain with steep moguls. Note, while you can choose clockwise or counterclockwise direction of the loop, we believe that it wouldn't make much difference in complexity of your journey or views or terrain. While we took counterclockwise loop which is ranked as easier, we faced sections full of small or large moguls through the entire loop. This was one of the biggest surprises, as earlier we saw many popular videos recommending this circuit to skiers of all abilities, and also, stating the fact that all trails on Celeronda are groomed. So if you are a beginner, then taking an entire circuit could be very challenging and prone to unnecessary risk of injuries. During our visit, we actually witnessed an accident on remote location of the circuit, and as you can see in this video, the entire trail was closed till arrival and departure of a rescue team that landed on a helicopter right onto the trail. As we already mentioned, you may see many social media figures telling stories about relatively easy level of terrain that always offer well-maintained and groomed trails. While some of those statements can be true in specific conditions, such as absence of heavy snowfalls or crowds on the slopes, we would actually question those types of revelations by just showing you real video fragments from different parts of the loop. In our opinion, if you are not comfortable skiing on moguls at all, then perhaps taking the entire loop would be imprudent, even if you are an intermediate skier. It took us actually almost five hours to finish the entire loop with taking just a few quick stops for drinks. Note, even if you start your journey very early in the morning, lines for chairs will be inevitable. However, sooner you get on the trail, the better snow conditions you will get. Perhaps, in ideal snow conditions when majority of trails are not transformed into moguls and lines are not huge, you can complete this loop in 3 to 4 hours, but 3 hours is bare minimum of time that you should plan for taking the entire loop from its start to finish. The Celeronda connects four major ski resorts, Val Gardena, Alta Badia, Raba, and Val di Fassa. This is actually one of unique aspects of Celeronda as it allows skiers to explore different areas of the Dolomites within a single day. As we already noted in earlier videos, one of the highlights of skiing at the Celeronda is breathtaking scenery of the Dolomites, including jagged peaks, rocky cliffs, and picturesque alpine villages. We really enjoyed seeing these amazing landscapes and believe that taking the entire loop is actually a very rewarding experience. Although, depending on snow conditions and status of the trails, it can be quite challenging and exhausting at the end. Thanks to its high elevation and the use of artificial snowmaking when needed, the Celeronda typically offers good snow conditions throughout the winter season. 
While the Celeronda is accessible to intermediate skiers, it also offers challenges for more advanced skiers, particularly on some of the steeper descents and off-piste routes. Note, we didn't try any of the adjacent ski trails in any of four connected ski resorts. Our skiing experience was limited to staying on the main trail that represents the circuit itself. Should you try to go sideways and visit specific areas around the circuit, make sure to budget sufficient time to arrive to your final destination before closure of chairs and gondolas. Also note that some parts of the circuit do not offer access to the public transportation or taxi, so if you would like to explore some individual areas or ski resorts, it might be a good idea to plan a separate trip to those locations. In addition to skiing and snowboarding opportunities, Celeronda offers big selection of cafes and restaurants that offer big selection of food and drinks, mainly of popular local cuisines. So if you're one of those who prefer having a lunch or a drink at the top of the mountains, then budget additional time for skiing at the loop. Overall, Celeronda Ski Circuit stands out as a longest and premier ski destination for many outdoor enthusiasts thanks to its immense size, stunning scenery, and modern infrastructure that makes it a favorite destination among outdoor enthusiasts from around the world. We would like to thank you for watching this quick overview till the end. Remaining part of this video includes fragments that represent real-time skiing experience through the entire circuit. Please note that you can use chapters to navigate to any part of this video without watching the entire video. If you will have any additional questions about Celeronda or Dolomiti Super Ski Area, feel free to post them in the comments section below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. We would love to hear about your experience visiting or skiing in this area. Once again, please don't forget to hit subscribe button to stay informed about new episodes published on our channel. Thanks for watching and if you like this video and find it useful, please feel free to share it with your friends and family and hit like button below. Now it's time to sit back, relax and enjoy.
Thank you.